This is an echocardiogram in the parasternal long axis view. Transducer will be kept on the anterior chest wall and the echo beam will be parallel to the long axis of the heart. Long axis of the heart is the base to apex axis of the heart. Here this is representing the anterior chest wall. You can see the anterior wall of the right ventricle and a portion of the right ventricle. This is the outflow region of the right ventricle. Below that is the interventricular septum. This is anterior wall of the aorta, posterior wall of aorta. Two aortic leaflets are seen in an open position. This is left ventricular cavity, left ventricular posterior wall, left atrial posterior wall and descending aorta, cross section of descending aorta. This is ascending aorta. Anterior mitral leaflet is seen here in the closed position. Posterior mitral leaflet is seen pointing towards the left atrium. That is because it is a flail posterior mitral leaflet. Normally during systole, leaflets are pulled into the ventricular side by the contraction of the papillary muscle and the caudate tendineae are taut. When the caudate tendineae are ruptured, the leaflet becomes flail and points towards the left atrium in systole due to the force of the pressure in the left ventricle. Rise in pressure in the left ventricle will cause the leaflet, the flail leaflet to point away from the left ventricle into the left atrium. There is a gap between the anterior and posterior mitral leaflets. This will cause mitral regurgitation. Left atrium is dilated. Usually, diameter of aorta and left atrium are almost equal. Here you can see that left atrial diameter is almost double that of aortic diameter. This is due to mitral regurgitation. Caudal rupture causing flail mitral leaflet can be sometimes spontaneous or it could be due to infarction of the papillary muscle region in association with infarction of the left ventricle or it could be caudal rupture secondary to infective endocarditis. Color flow mapping or color doppler superimposed on the two-dimensional echocardiogram. You can see the multicolored mosaic jet of mitral regurgitation from the left ventricle to left atrium in systole. This is because of the flail posterior mitral leaflet caused by caudal rupture. This is the color bar indicating the velocity. When the velocity is above 60, color changes. That is known as wrap around. When there is mixed velocity, it is known as variance that will produce other colors. You can see that colors other than red and blue are seen here. Blue indicates flow away from the transducer and red indicates flow towards the transducer. But we are seeing other colors here indicating variance. Variance means there is variation in the velocity. Multiple velocities are there in this region and it is a high velocity jet because pressure difference between left ventricle and left atrium is high causing high velocity jet. As this jet is directed towards the iota, systolic murmur will be conducted towards the base of the heart rather than to the axilla. When the MR jet is directed posteriorly, which is the case most often in rheumatic mitral regurgitation, conduction is posteriorly to the back, conduction of mitral regurgitation murmur will be to the back and also to the axilla. In this case, as the jet is directed anteriorly, 
the systolic murmur will be heard better towards the base that is conduction from the apex to the base of the heart